Hey guys, Dark and Cyclone FPV. I got a customer that sent in a QX7 access. I just got done doing a video on one of these. And then also a recon. Oh, let's see. A recon 4 uh, with an XM Plus. Okay, so, so let me give you the, let's do the split screen here. So here's the deal. Um, I think what his problem is, is he can't bind to it. Uh, and my guess is that the reason, man. Wow, okay, well anyways. Um, the reason he can't bind is, I'm gonna guess that it's because his radio does not have the same uh, firmware that's on the XM Plus. So let's look at it like this and see, uh, we'll take a guess here and see. So I'm gonna open the radio first here. And what I want to do, the first thing anybody should do, any of you should do if you're doing this, is automatically go straight to the configuration, go straight to the settings here. Watch, just do just like this, okay? Power it on. Okay. Now, there is an SD card in here, but I don't know what it's got. All right, anyways. And then hold the menu button down and then go to page 7 of 7 and click here. Okay, so he's running two point. 0.1.6 FCC okay now the question is does the receiver have that so first thing we're gonna do is let's do this let's go to menu uh, sector 4 is what he's using so let's hit page and let's scroll and see what he's done internal RF ACC ST 16 all right so now let me go here let me take off the uh, let me take off the top plate That's a really, really dinky quad. I don't understand this. This is, I mean, wow. I mean, I get that quads one need to, I mean, everybody wants these light quads, but do you really realize what you're getting sometimes? And I mean, the manufacturers understand what they're making because this is, I mean, it's just light. It's, it's, I don't know. Just surprised, that's all. I mean, there's just... Anyways, all right, so let's get to this here. I'm just gonna take this off so I can access this properly. Um, okay, so here's the XM Plus. And I'm just gonna go ahead and plug in the quad here. Whoops, all right. And I'm going to power it up while holding the bind button here. Have our red and our green light. Then come on over here. Click bind. Okay. So what it tells me when it's not doing that is that the radio that the receiver is most likely. Whoops. Let me turn this. The receiver is most likely not on the right firmware with the radio. Now the radio is flashed, even though the radio isn't right. It's at least flashed, we know that. So what we're gonna do, is we're gonna come over here and we're gonna take these three wires off. One, two, and three. All right, now I've got this cable somewhere here. Oh my God, I just cleaned up my desk and I think I may have got rid of the cable. Nope, I'm gonna go find it. Hold on one second, let me, why is my table look crooked on here? There we go, let's straighten it out just a little bit at least. Doesn't look like everything's flowing one direction. There we go. Okay, I need to find this cable, so hold on. I threw it around here somewhere as I was cleaning or shifting everything to one other side. Mm, I'll use, it's not the one I want to use, but I guess it's the one I want to use then. So I'm going to use a cable, and I'm going to try to flash this radio properly. Now, the radio itself is not set up properly. The radio's firmware is all whoppy. We can tell that when we turn it on. Uh... Damn it, I really didn't want to have to use this cable, but oh well. Okay, so we're going to update the receiver, right? Um, and so to do that, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to solder. Man, I know I have a cable here. God darn it. Hold on, hold on. I don't want to, like, give up yet because I know I have one here somewhere. Dun, dun, dun. 
Give me, I tell you, we'll get a 30 second count. And if I find it in 30 seconds, great. If not, then I'll throw in the towel and use this cable. But I just got done using it for something else. Oh well. So much for that. I give up. Oh wait, no, here it is right here. <laughs> I knew it. Okay, I'm going to use this one because this one's already been cut and soldered. So I, I, it's fine with me. I don't mind using this one. Just don't want to ruin the pins on another one because I want to be able to plug the other one into a receiver that hasn't been attached yet. So anyways, let's just get to it here, right? So we're going to take the uh, XM Plus and we're going to solder wire to wire here. So we're going to take the yellow to yellow. Uh, red to red. Let me get this to step on this right here so it doesn't go flying all over the place. Black to black. Okay, and like I said, red to red, so let's do that. Okay, now, the XM Plus has an update, and I just downloaded the update, so I have the database of it. I'm going to show you anyway, so you can go on Free Sky's website. I don't really feel like making every video about going to their website, but in either case, here's, what, here's basically what you do. Let me, let me, um, let me put my computer here online. Uh, once you go to the Free Sky website, you download the XM Plus um, firmware, right? Which I've already done, so I'm going to show you that real quickly. Let me put my computer on the screen here. Let me zoom out of this. It seems very bright here. Let me zoom out, zoom out, zoom out. There we go. Okay, so here's the uh, web, and I will open the Free Sky website here for you. Give me a second. So let's put that over there, and then here we go. Okay, so if you go to the Free Sky website, which I was just at for this exact driver a few minutes ago. So I've already got it downloaded, and so I'm not going to do that. But anyways, if you go here and you go to Downloads, and then you find XM Plus, okay, so you go to Download Products, and then, I mean, it's, you know, you see this 100 times. And then you go to Receivers, 2.4 gigahertz ACCST, and then you go here and there's XM Plus. And when you click that, you can go then to the Download, and you're going to get the uh, uh, ACCST D16 firmware, and this is the one that you would need to load, okay? So I've already downloaded that, and that's actually sitting in my downloads folder uh, right here. Just to tell you, I just did it. Look at that. See, I did it, and I did it at 503, and it is now 631. So I just did this file. So anyways, that file needs to make it on this radio, right? This radio has already got a problem because it's not able to read the firmware properly. Uh, the SD card isn't set up properly. So I'm going to go ahead, and without turning the radio off, because I don't want to turn it off, I'm just going to plug in the USB, and I should get prompted to use it as a storage or an SD. I'm gonna to go to, I mean, uh, joystick or storage. I'm gonna to go to storage so I can see what the USB or the SD card looks like up here. All right, so here it is right here. And he's got, what is this? So this looks like it was an SD card used for photos. Uh, that's not the card that you wanna be using for this. So I'm curious now, um, properties, I'm just curious to see. Uh, okay, it looks like maybe an egg, egg card. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go here. I don't know if it's going to let me format, but if it does, it'd be great. So let's do a quick format. Fat32 is fine. Let's click start. Click OK. I hope it does. Sometimes it'll freeze. Sometimes it'll work. <sighs> maybe it froze now. I have no idea. Wonderful. Gotta love it. I'll give it a little bit longer. In the meantime, um, I'll just eject the disk and put it in the computer, I guess. Wait, oh, it's done. Look at that, perfect. Okay, so um, the proper thing to do here is to go to OpenTX then and get this SD card running properly. I also didn't, uh, I can't use the menu now. Um, so this is a QX7 Access Edition. Again, like I said, I just got done doing this. So I'm gonna go ahead and flash the firmware because I've got the firmware already downloaded. I mean, I'm, I'm in the exact folder right here. So let me go ahead and click right to TX. I'm gonna go ahead and write that. Uh, oh, whoops, for, forgot, I can't do that. My apologies, because it's not in that mode. It's not in the if you mode. So let me go to, uh, let me turn this off. Okay, all right, now I'm gonna go ahead and get it ready. He's got 2.3.12, that's fine. I'm going to connect this now, and now I can go ahead and flash it. So now let me do that. Uh, let's go ahead and write to TX. OK. 
okay? And then the other thing I wanna do is, okay, that's done, right? So now I wanna go, and I have a folder here specifically for this radio uh, on my desktop in transmitter or transmitters, I don't know, one of the two. QX7 access, I think that's this one here, and I think that the SD card firmware, it should be 2.3, yeah, this is it here, okay? We can get rid of this one, let me delete that real quick. All right, so for this gentleman's card, I'm gonna copy my contents over and he's got the TX so he can do the ISRM downgrade to 1.1.3, I leave that in there. But I'm also gonna make a new folder here, new folder. And if you guys ever send me your radios, basically as I build files, you guys get them when I do your SD card. So we're gonna do FRSKY uh, RX dash FW. And in that, I'm going to take my downloads folder I don't know what I just, I clicked something by accident here that I shouldn't have. So I'm gonna close that. Uh, and I'm gonna take this, and here's, that's the, that's a huge file right here. So I'm just gonna extract it. Extract all, okay, extract. And then I'm also gonna take, look at all these. Okay, so you don't need, we're not doing XM uh, access or ACCST. Uh, we're definitely not gonna do LBT, right? So I'm gonna leave the rest of these, perhaps. So let me just get rid of these ones. One, two, three, no, one, two, one, two, three, and then we'll do these. One, two, three. This is what comes in there stuff. I don't want those. Someone delete them, do you need me? Are you waiting for me? Hey, you did it. Yeah. You did your first top board, good job. Yeah. Uh, not the right bag, though. Put them in that bag. No, this one. Right, that oh. one. Put them all in the same size, if you would. Oh, okay. Yeah, because they'll... Nice job. Yeah. Hey, look at you. You're 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 taking over my job with uh, Vistas. Thank you. Absolutely. That's awesome. Yeah. All right. Now, so. Huh? So I can do them now. Yep. So that's good. All right, so we're going to take this file here, and I'm going to drop this file into their... Um, into his... Uh, oh, where did it go? Where is my... Uh, Oh my God, a lot here. Desktop, transmitters, uh, QX7 access. I'm gonna drop an SD card firmware and I just created that firmware folder. I'm gonna paste this right here. Okay, so now that's got that one. Now, just to make sure we've updated the TX, this only has the downgrade to 1.1.3. I'm gonna put the, I just noticed that in my downloads, I also have that, um, go back to my downloads here and you're gonna see that I also have the, uh, QX7, no, the, yeah, QX7 access 2.1.6. So he'll need this one too. I feel good to put this one in there as well. And I think I've already taken it out of this folder. Oh no, it's right here. Okay. So we're going to take this as well. And the reason we're going to do this one is so that um, if he ever wants to use this, I'm going to put on his SD card. And like I said, if you guys had the SD card, I'd put it in yours too. So that if you ever want to downgrade or make this compatible with different versions, you can. So. I'm just gonna rename this though so that I can, so it'll show up. Let's do this, ISRM 2.1.6, that's what he's got loaded now. And then we're gonna do 1.1.3 in case the gentleman ever wants to load. And if you guys ever need these files, you let me know. I've built a pretty big FreeSky database. Uh, I've got, I mean, I've got tons, tons of uh, downloads. Matter of fact, I was just looking and if you look at my downloads under my Dropbox here for software downloads, Oops, for free sky. Look, I mean, it's, it's, I've got, these are firmware that I haven't filed and they're, I got a ton of them filed here as well. So I keep, I try to keep track of that, a lot of it. Um, all right, so getting back to our desktop and then our transmitters and then our uh, a access right here. So the access that we've got, um, I don't think I need any of the old files, so we can get rid of that. So I'm gonna delete that. Okay. We also have the R9M 2019 Access 1.3, and then we have the R9 whatever. So I'm not gonna worry about these right now. All I care about is that we've got everything ready to go. So now when I go to my OpenTX, and I tell it to synchronize the SD card, it's gonna take the Access card, and I'm gonna tell it to synchronize with USB Drive D. Select folder, and I'm gonna say Start. And what it's gonna do now is it's gonna take the entire SD card contents that I've created and move it over, right? Because then when we're done, we can flash the bootloader, we can flash the receiver, we can flash the ISRM, 
There's nothing this radio can't do once it's updated and all the files are there. Uh, where are the little stick things? Okay, I want you to know that I didn't put those. I don't know how you put them, but I don't have them. Oh, they're in here. Well, while you take them off, you don't have to. Let's go ahead and leave these out, guys. You know, I don't think you have to take these off. Okay, now, yeah, now this copy is going to take a little bit, so have patience, please. Now, I'm going to put your USB cord back. And I don't know what this is for, but a little foam pad, I'll leave that there. Okay, so while that's running, let, let's just let that have a chance. I'm going to make a little baggie for my XM cables. There we go. The... Once it reaches the files, it should start hauling butt here in just a second, okay? It's just gonna take a minute. Almost there. Okay, so we're done now. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna, uh, let me see, I wanna get to the bottom of this, here we go. So it says it's done, so we're gonna click close. Now look what happens if you did it again, watch. Okay, if I click start now, it's gonna zoom right through it, right? Because all it's do is verifying files. So they're in there. All right, now that we're done, we've upgraded the firmware, but now we have to do the bootloader. So the first thing we're gonna do here is we're gonna come down to the safely uh, uh, remove these devices. So right click and then left click on to eject them both. Once that's done, you can go ahead and pull the power cable out. Okay. And then what we're gonna do, let me go now go to bigger screen. We're gonna close this and we're gonna go to exit. Now this should talk, hopefully. Welcome to OpenTX. There you go. Throttle warning. Okay, now the next thing we want to do is we want to update the bootloader, right? So we're going to hold the menu button down and we're going to click page and we're going to go to firmware and we're going to go to OpenTX firmware and there's the dot 14. I'm going to hold that and I'm going to say flash bootloader. It's going to take one second, boom, it's done. And now when we go and we check our versions, look, 2.3.14 OTX, okay? And if we go to our modules, we have still 2.1.6. Now, now we have to update the receiver. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna plug this in to the three pins on the bottom here. I can see it. I believe it's black to the left. All right, and then we're gonna hit, uh, hold the menu button down, go page, go to firmware, go to FreeSky RX, and go to that folder, and then we're gonna look. It's an XM Plus, and we're gonna do 2.12 with RSSI on channel 16, which is gonna be the third one down. We're gonna hold that, flash S port. Now we should see the lights blink if I've got this plugged in right, and we do. It's blinking, and it says it's writing. Okay. So let's try this again. Uh, page, firmware, RX, here we go. And then we will do it again. Here we go, XST, yep. There we go, okay. Here we go, it's gonna write, and we should be good to go. So I'm gonna let that sit there a second. All right, so it's done. Flash is successful. We can unplug it now. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to desolder the wires. One, two, and three. Put that over there. Get the drone. which was weird, so let me just go here and find out. 
Okay, so that's going to be there, and then this one is going to be here. Excellent. All right. So we will take our receiver. All right, now before I go and close it up, let's get it ready to try. So I'm going to take it here, hold the bind button, turn it on. Okay, I got red and green. So now with everything updated, uh, let's go to page, oops, menu page, and then let's go and click. Now this is this is model number one, right? Yeah, it is. So we're gonna change this to receiver number one. And model two needs to be receiver two. So let's bind this one. And there he goes. See how it's blinking now? Because we finally bound it. We got the right firmware and it's bound. Now I can turn this off, turn it back on. We'll get a green light here in just a second. Actually, I'm gonna cycle my radio too because I want, want to load everything. Here we go, so let's cycle it back. Welcome to OpenTX. Excellent. Okay, so we should see a green light here shortly. Give it a second. And there you go. We've got the green light blinking. Everything's set. So now when I go into beta flight, which is what I'm gonna do right now. Okay. Uh, and I'm going to show you the computer screen here. And we'll connect. Reset, calibrate, let's go to receiver. And let's change everything here to make it here. Click save. And now we are, and we're gonna to wanna to move this a little bit away. There is an issue here where it will interfere. I'll try to move this as well. If I can keep these kind of like that, we should be okay. Um, this is our RSSI, by the way. And so we just need to set up the switches here. None of his switches are set up. So I guess I'll go ahead and do that real quick. So I've done this before with you guys. Um, so we just go hit here, go page. And you can, I'm gonna do this and you can watch on the beta flight screen as things update. So go page, page. This is gonna be arm. Whoops. Hey babe, you just want to go out to eat? So this switch right here, SA is the arm switch. I don't know, if you want to get Indian food, you can do that. Whoops. Huh? It's not that I don't like your Indian food. I don't like waiting until 10 o'clock. Which, we're working late. That's the only reason I'm saying that. Figure when we work, when we put in a full day's work, I mean, the last thing you want to do is go home and have to cook, so... We can go do that or do something like it. I mean, I don't care. All right, this will be our mode switch. Awesome. It's our mode switch there. So S A S B is C S D S A is R M S D is mode. S B will be fail safe. So we're going to go down here. F F. Man, I forgot to capitalize. Hold on, I can't let that go. What am I doing? F A I. All right, there we go. Now we'll spell it out. Oh my God, where's the, oh boy, long day. F, A, I, L, 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 L. Okay, for fail safe, we're gonna use SB right here, okay? So that's it. Now, when we're done with the inputs, we're gonna go to the next page, which is gonna be mixes, and we're gonna go down here. And we're gonna call this one arm, A, R, M. 
Okay, it's already got this filled in, so we don't have to do anything else. Exit, exit. Go to channel six and click here and call this one mode. Okay, and then we're gonna go to seven and call this one, whoops, fail. F A I L. Exit, exit, exit. Okay, now, another thing that you're going to want to do, right, is you're going to want to, um, uh, you're going to want to calibrate this thing. So, because the sticks, you know, that you got to make sure they're centered and everything looks good. So, um, and I'll, I'll explain to you why. So, look at this real quick. I'm going to try to move this out of the way so it'll allow the radio to link. Okay, look at the sticks. They're in, they're in resting position right now, and it's going to keep cutting in and out because there is, like I said, there's an issue with it being closed. Let me see if I can, that's not going to help. Let me see if I can do something here to... I don't know. Come on, just just work for a minute, would you? Well, okay. I'm gonna try to scoot this out of the way, and it's it's gonna take a bit to get there. I'm way over here. Okay, so just look at the screen real quick. Forget what's on here, but if you notice here that um, you have pitch 1498, you have yaw at 1503, and they should be at 1500. So that's where you calibrate, right? So let's just go, I'm just gonna do this here real quick. So you hold the long hold in the menu button, long hold page, long hold page, and you get to page six or seven, calibration, hit enter, hit enter to start, put all your sticks in the center position, and these two dials right here, right? That's what matters. And make sure that your, I should have told you this at the beginning, make sure that your sub, your, these sub trims right here, trim make sure center. they're all centered. Trim center. Your trims are all centered, okay? So they have two lines, right? Now, long press and then long press page, long press page, it goes backwards when you do that. Go to calibration, hit enter, set your stick to the center. So there's these little lines, line them up. This one should automatically line up and set these to be as straight up as possible. When you've done that, hit enter. And here's what you're gonna do. Go left, top, right, down, down, uh, there, that's it. Same thing, left, top, down, 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 and then bring it back. Now, do the same thing, go all the way the other way but when you do this guys make sure that you don't crank on it too hard this is supposed to be the same strength you would use when you're flying right so gently use it and then take these dials and turn them okay turn them again perfect now hit enter when you're done okay now I'm gonna take this out of the way and now you can see look they're both close to Oh, look at that is actually very close to 1500 I'm gonna flip that switch there okay they're very close they're 1501 all right so uh, actually there, well, that's because the controller is getting blocked out. So 1500, 1501, I'm not going to worry about it too much. So at this point, now that it's calibrated, it's good to go. So what we want to do now is we're going to bring the quad back. All right. Now, I don't know how this guy has his mode set. I'm really not going to worry about that too much. What I'm going to tell you is we're going to um, do the following. And he'll be able to see this video, so he'll know what I'm doing. So since auxiliary one is the arm switch, let me see if I can show you that without this thing going crazy. Okay. Uh, I should be able to get a signal if I move this far enough away, but still keep it in reach. So hold on a second. Okay. Auxiliary one, that's here. That's our arm switch, SA. So when I go to modes, I'm just gonna delete this here and I'm gonna say add range and I'm gonna flick the arm switch and I'm gonna drag that over. That means in middle and end position, it's armed. Now, angle mode, we're gonna go to the mode switch. We're gonna add that range and we're gonna put, oops, we're gonna go to angle, it's auxiliary two. So we're going to drag that and cover that to where our angle is the first one. It's the one closest to you. The next will be horizon. And then let me see if they've turned on air mode. Okay, so air mode is going to be the first position, which will be with acro right there. So you've got safe. The safest is angle. The next will be horizon. And then the next will be acro with air. Now we're going to do our fail safe and flip SB. And we're going to put that at the end. And we're going to put our buzzer at the same switch and we're gonna have that drag from middle. So you can hit the buzzer without hitting fail safe or you can go the whole way and fail safe and buzzer. All right, now we're gonna click save. This is how I set them up standard now. Um, I will tell you that I used to put angle in the middle and horizon at the back. Because I'm doing it by safe, what's the safest, I switched those. So now angles all the way back and horizon in the middle, but this is how every radio I do is set up. So if you get one from me, this is how it's gonna be. Um, I think the next thing we'll do is, I guess we could test the motors to make sure everything's good. They are reversed, so let's make sure. It says the motors are reversed, so let's make sure. Okay, well, we have a problem. So right there, there's an issue with 
uh, this motor here. And I'm, what I'm hoping is it's not going to be the e, uh, ho hopefully it's not going to be the flight controller. Um, it, it's weird, but it sounds like there's something in there. Let me see. Yeah, I think we might have a bad motor or a bad ESC at this point. So what I'm going to have to do now, now this changes things. Uh, so what we're going to do now is we're going to, we've disconnected the power. Uh, now what we're going to do is we're going to take the motor off real quickly. And I'll just put a temporary motor, just solder something temporary to see if we get anything. Oh, you know what? Look at that. Never mind. I see here the wire is broken. Well, let's fix that real quick, shall we? I don't understand what they're doing with these things, but right. so let's go ahead and find that last wire. Golly. Tin that just a bit. All right, and then we're going to cut it because it's way too long. And let's see if maybe it was a faulty connection. If it was, that'd be great. All right, let's give it a shot again. See what happens, right? Oh, it's all it was. Awesome. Everything's running great. Motors are spinning properly. Whoops. I think it's tripping my, uh, it's tripping my, uh, uh, whatchamacallit. My, uh, smoke stopper. Oh, this is great. This is working very good, actually. All right, so we're going to turn around and now uh, turn this one off so let's go ahead and power this down well, let's close it up and that pretty much does it so let me go ahead and power this down real quick all right that's done that's done let's see if we could just make this a little bit better for this poor guy uh, these are really thin pieces of carbon fiber i mean i just don't no i'm, I'm still not very i'm not very happy to see how thin the material is because the components are not cheap and this is going to take one good hit, and this thing is going to be in a problem, I think. Um, I'm not sure that it's worth getting that extra weight off to do that, but I think that it's a definite big risk when you're talking about the idea of losing how much money could be damaged or lost. But let's just see. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and zip tie this around, just like that. Now I gotta try to feed this through here somehow. This isn't gonna be any fun. Let me see if I can though. There's 
one. Just the other one. Hey Sam, do you have one box that you can ship both these items back in? He said he couldn't find a box to ship them both in. <laughs> but I mean, I figured we could save him a little bit, I guess. Try to save him some money on the shipping. Okay, I'm gonna try to get this XT60, there we go. Or XT30, I mean, out here. There we go. Here's my other gripe about this, which some of you may agree, some of you may not. It's not a big deal. It's just one of those things where when you're putting on a front plate like this, the battery is going to be on top. Any accents are going to pull. And then you're also going through 3D printed material. And look, if, if this is my drone, I'm making sure that my screws screw straight into the carbon fiber and are pressing against carbon fiber. I mean, I want that sealed feel out of it. And I mean, well... Anyways, I just it just to be more careful. I mean, you know, there's a lot of ways, a lot of ways this thing can fail. Um, I wonder if I can't. I'll have to look back on the video because I only see one of these pieces. So while I'm looking for that, let me go ahead, put this stuff away. The radio can go back in. The gentleman will be happy. I hope his radio is working awesome. Uh, sticks can sit just like that, but that piece I don't think can. No, that can too. All right, so that's good. All right, so radio's good. Now let me look at the box here and see if I have... Oh, there it is. All right, so here's the antenna piece that I was looking for. That'll go right here. And this gentleman is golden. Okay, everything else looks good, guys. I mean, I think you'll be happy with it. It's very light, so you should get a lot of flight time out of it. Just be careful because, uh, you know, it's 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 going to have a tough time. Uh if it has an accident, it could be very tough on the quad, uh, but it's definitely going to be a quad work. Uh, you'll have fun with, I think. All right, so there's that and that, and that means it's done too. So both these are finished, and that gentleman is good to go. All right, guys. So again, there you go. I mean, <coughs> let me tell you that <coughs> I can't think of a time right now that it wasn't firmware related. So when you do get things like this, just, just remember that you need to make sure that you check the firmware on your radio, you verify it against what's on the receiver, and if you don't know, just reload them both. It takes no time at all, and it'll save you a ton of headache, okay? If you have any questions, guys, you can always hit me up, and please, as always, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'd always appreciate it. Say what's up to my kids, Ashton, Lennon, and Jaden. Love you very much. See you guys tomorrow, and to my wife, who is sitting behind me in the inventory room. What's up, babe? Uh, thanks for kicking butt, babe. And she is now doing all the Vista. She's taking the Vistas apart to do the um, top board and bottom board um, uh, shipping. So that's pretty cool. Um, is this, do these green props, did they come with that, guys? Uh, uh, crap, no, I can't remember. Hold on, they might have, I think, actually. Oh, there these. These are three blade. Yeah, these are his. My bad, sorry, dude. I was about to take your stuff. Um, anyway, so appreciate you guys very much. God bless. Be safe and go spend time with your family, guys. You never know how much time you have left. Go make the most of it. Say your prayers at night, and we'll talk to you soon. Peace.